Rumors are picking up steam that Tesla is designing a smartphone called the Model P or Pi. It all began in February 2021 when the YouTube channel ADR Studio uploaded a video titled Tesla Model P Concept. So is there any truth to this rumor? And if so, what can we expect from this new Tesla smartphone? Stick around as we take a look at all that in this video. First of all, does it make sense? Before I go into the phone's specs, it makes sense to ask, does it make sense for a company like Tesla, which is solely focused on manufacturing eclectic vehicles, to make smartphones? I've given this a fair amount of thought, and strangely enough, I think it does make sense. Not when you're looking at Tesla in isolation, but when you consider Elon's overall vision with all his companies, it makes perfect sense. Let me explain. From the beginning, Elon has always said he focuses on three crucial civilization-defining problems internet access, sustainable energy, and space exploration. Now, I know the idea of a personal communicator sounds out of place among these massive endeavors, but think about it. If Elon could put at least two of these concepts at work together, that is, internet access and sustainable energy, into a phone, that would be a perfect recipe for a generation-defining product like the iPhone was 15 years ago. A phone that can access information anywhere on the planet without any connectivity hassles, using the Starlink network that SpaceX is already hard at work making a reality. And a phone that can use renewable energy and superior battery technology to give its users, if not unlimited, significantly better energy efficient performance. Both technologies that Tesla is currently working on. And since processor, display, and camera performance is peaking on all smartphones, a topic that I discussed extensively in my video, why I think the iPhone 14 will be a bad buy. Manufacturers and inventors need to come up with some revolutionary changes to bring about a paradigm shift in the smartphone industry. And if he can merge the two technologies as discussed earlier, I think maybe, just maybe, Elon could quickly take over the smartphone market from Apple and unleash the next revolution. I wouldn't put it past him. So, now that I've established that it does make sense for Tesla to enter the smartphone market, let's check out the purported features of this new phone. Model P or Pi At this time, the Tesla Model P is nothing but a concept. Sorry to burst your bubble if you thought we might get a Tesla phone soon. Tesla or Elon have never come out and said anything about a smartphone, or whether there is indeed a project underway to design such a phone. However, as a tech junkie, it's always fun to speculate. And if Tesla was secretly working on a smartphone concept, it's even more fun to imagine this new phone's features. In all fairness, the 2021 YouTube video by ADR Studio was not the first time I heard about Tesla's plans to enter the smartphone industry. In fact, way back in 2013, there were reports that Tesla was working on a phone. But as we all know, that phone never saw the light of day, and the project was eventually scrapped. But ADR's slick video has sent the internet into a tizzy. In a year and a half that this video has been out, various outlets and experts have speculated about the purported features of the new Tesla phone. So what might those features be? The phone looks strikingly similar to the iPhone 12 Pro Max in the video, with a few key differences. First of all, the camera module is entirely different. It houses four cameras arranged in a square, similar to the Galaxy S20 Ultra, except that it's placed at the center of the back case, leading many experts to believe that the space inside might be optimized to fit in a bigger and better battery pack or advanced communication modules. Although the four-camera setup is nothing new, many people have suggested that the Tesla Model P's cameras would perhaps serve a more complex function than just taking pictures. For example, they may work in conjunction with Tesla's FSD software and act as a second set of eyes for for Tesla's AI neural net, actively learning from what the phone user sees to carry out custom functions. I know, it sounds like a long shot, but think about it. In essence, that's what a Tesla car does. It uses its cameras and sensors to learn about its environment. So why can't the camera on your smartphone be leveraged to do something similar? The idea is totally plausible. If implemented, imagine the additional data the Tesla AI can have at its disposal. This will also allow the phone to be better integrated with all Tesla car models, which also makes perfect sense, allowing users to have more controls through the tap of a button. Maybe users can control features such such as locking, unlocking, temperature, multimedia, navigation, and even an AI chauffeur service, which Tesla has already claimed to be working on with their robo-taxi announcement. All this might lead to the eventual demise of the big display inside all Tesla models. Future users may only need to sync their car to their Tesla phone and let the AI take care of the rest. Won't that be nice? Moving on from the AI camera, it also seems like the Model P's back case has something interesting going on. This has led many people to suggest that it is some sort of a secondary display that can be used for notifications or other quick actions. We have seen this on a few phones, like the Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha. 
But I believe if Tesla were to do something with the back case, it wouldn't be some gimmicky display, but rather something more sophisticated and game-changing. Like a high-efficiency solar panel that makes the phone fully renewable. Portable solar panels have been around for ages, but they are usually clunky and not very efficient. You see, the efficiency of solar panels currently is defined by their density and surface area. If Tesla can crack the efficiency problem which it is currently working on, there is no reason to doubt that we might see smartphones with built-in solar panels very soon. This, coupled with a smaller version of Tesla's new 4680 battery cell under the hood, can make the Tesla Model P a genuinely revolutionary smartphone. A phone that can automatically charge itself and efficiently discharge power based on usage and other functions. At best, it can make the smartphone totally free of external charging. And at worst, it can dramatically extend the battery life of the device, beating all competitors into the dust. Either way, seeing a smartphone with a solar panel on its back will be quite something. First, of course, Tesla would need to figure out how to efficiently use panels, as most people keep their smartphones tucked away inside a pocket or a purse. But that's a problem for another day. The next significant feature of the phone would be its ability to communicate with the Starlink network. When fully operational, it would mean that if you own a Tesla Model P, you'll have access to the internet anywhere on this planet. Gone will be the day of you having to point your smartphone to the skies to get that extra bar of connection in areas with spotty coverage. Now you can enjoy high-speed internet everywhere. A few theories are floating around that Elon plans to send this phone along with humanity to Mars. While I fully support that idea, I'm not sure you can use a regular smartphone in extreme space conditions. For starters, the intense radiation and heat are enough to blow it to smithereens. Plus, the shielding and cooling requirements for a communication device in space can't be packed within a sleek-looking design, at least based on our current technology. But then again, we are discussing the future here, so who knows? And finally, I have saved the most remarkable feature of the Tesla Model P for last. With Elon investing millions into his Neuralink venture, this phone might just be the first smartphone on Earth that is fully controllable by human thoughts. Yes, you heard that right. Neuralink has already developed a fully functioning prototype of an implantable brain-machine interface that will allow humans to control machines using thoughts. The final output of Neuralink, along with the brain implant, will be a machine that can communicate with that implant. In this case, that machine will become the most common machine that humanity uses to communicate, a smartphone. If Tesla Model P manages to achieve this feat, it would be a paradigm shift in how we humans interact with our devices. First came the computer mouse, that made scrolling and clicking a reality. Then came the touchscreen, that made haptics like 3D touch and gestures a reality. With Tesla Model P and Neuralink, the next mode of interaction will be thought control and brain-machine interface. Now, you tell me if that will bring about a revolution or not. Would you like to see Tesla enter the smartphone industry and make all of this a reality? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more such tech-related videos. See you in the next one.